Alors, il euh, y a d'abord une demande qui a émané de Bernadette Taputou et du Vallejo Surf Club pour euh, pouvoir euh, mettre en place des, des pépinières de coraux. Euh, qui, qui est assez peu présent sur, sur le territoire. Donc elle a voulu se faire former euh, par, euh, par le CRIOB. Donc elle est venue au CRIOB à, à Moréa. On a fait la formation technique et, euh, et, et puis on est venu mettre en place ensuite ça euh, sur le site. Et euh, donc je suis venu pour, pour commencer les, les choses et, et pour qu'Apuré soit totalement autonome pour, pour continuer cette, cette action. C'est une première pour nous et aussi pour la population ici à la Presqu'île. Et profiter quand que c'est en ce moment là, le CRIOB est en, en train de développer ce, ce système. Ben, c'est pour nous l'occasion de profiter de, de connaître les, ces techniques là, connaître mieux le corail aussi, hein, parce que c'est ça, et d'avoir un spécialiste et en même temps avoir ces professionnels qui viennent et qui voient que voilà, ça, ça dépasse les, nos frontières. Donc euh, c'est dans ce but là. It's a learning experience for all of us here. We've first time we've ever done this and you know it's about expanding our horizons with our social projects and our environmental projects as well um, wherever we go around the world and doing this coral re uh, rejuvenation um, project is, is amazing it's I mean without the coral you know we don't have waves as good as Chopu to surf so you know and, that, and that's paramount and we have to look after that coral Uh, globally too because there's problems with coral bleaching all around the world in, in Australia as well in the Great Barrier Reef it's an epidemic at the moment and uh, right now this year with the uh, El Nino um, uh, last 12 months of El Nino that we just had that uh, weather pattern it was uh, created really warm temperatures in the water and a lot of the coral bleached and it um, destroyed a lot of the coral and uh, you know all across the whole globe and And now we're falling back into La Nina, which means the cold temperatures are starting to come back, which will help the coral rejuvenate. And what we're doing here behind me is um, basically cutting off little bits of coral that we found uh, that have been destroyed and broken apart. We're replanting it, and uh, it's going to be a two-year process, but each year we'll come back and we'll be able to see how the coral's um, growing and rejuvenating and spreading. And one thing I just learnt today was that, that coral's an animal. Um, I never knew that, so, and everyone, all the AP athletes are a bit blown away by it because it's, um, you know, it's, it's like going back to school and studying marine biology, so we're sort of, we're, we're blessed in a way to be able to experience this and also play part in, in helping the environment and uh, I'm sure the APB athletes as well as myself are super stoked to be doing this and it's spreading a good message to the community to look after the coral as well and, and across the globe as well, start looking after the coral and and monitoring it and, and seeing what you can do to help and I'm sure you know obviously it's a new technique that these guys uh, they're doing from the pre-ab but I'm sure it's going to spread around the world uh, quick smarter and we're going to help try and um, obviously promote that. You mean what, where did the name science come from? Yeah. Uh, it's the definition, a friend of mine actually who knew me pretty well is a good friend, he came up with it because uh, he kind of knew me and my ideology etc. And um, it's actually the literal translation is knowledge gained through experience. And so, uh, you know, because I've been writing for so long, I have some experience. And, uh, but I am very, um, uh, I guess, detail oriented and I'm really interested in how things work. I'm always looking at ways to improve things. And um, I'm also very conscious about the world we live in because I travel a lot and I see so much change. So uh, for me, it's a really important thing to, to be conscious of that and be more sustainable and try to promote sustainability more. Uh, and uh, this is really cool, you know, this is like a little, it's so cool because you go out in the ocean and it's like uh, in, the, in the reef, inside the reef, it looks like a graveyard of, of reef and we're reclaiming it, you know, and hopefully going to propagate it and it's going to grow again. So that's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. <laughs>